You're watching the Dallas Cowboys Report and breaking news here. Our second video of the day on Tuesday. Earlier today, the Cowboys made the big splash to, well, big splash, I should say, to sign uh, Kendall Sheffield of the practice squad. Now they make a really big move as the Cowboys trade for Jonathan Hankins, the defensive tackle who we actually once had several years ago as a defensive tackle target for this team. The Raiders are getting a 2023 sixth round pick. The Cowboys, of course, get Hankins and a future seventh. So from a pure trade value perspective, it's really Hankins for a seventh. That sixth round pick should be late. Then there's the cop picks, of course. That seventh round pick could be anywhere, but probably going to be middle or early at worst. Maybe it's a little bit late, but it's a seventh, so who really cares that much? It's a sixth round pick for Hankins and a seventh. I'll also make note from a projected comp pick perspective, which are projections, playing time matters more now. That's a factor. You are in line to get at least one sixth round pick, probably a fourth and a fifth mixed in there too. So you are you have extra sixth round picks to play with there from that viewpoint for the Cowboys. So I like the trade for Dallas. I mean, it's a fatties only, right? You're adding a fatty up front. I will never be mad and they actually did something as we were all begging them to make a trade. So I want to hear from you guys first and foremost. What is your one word reaction to the Jonathan Hankins trade? Good Bad, indifferent, sad, happy, fatty is my one word, by the way. I will leave it up to you guys. In fact, I'll make this question the pinned comments on today's video. So if the ad break happens to come here on YouTube, cool, it's great timing. Head down there. Let me know your one word reaction to the Hankins trade. My one word is fatty. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. To be clear, for those of you who are not familiar with the Fatties Only campaign, it is a positive campaign. Because you want those big hog mollies up front to clog the, the, the run lanes. You want to have the ability to have big defensive tackles up front and be able to add them and allow yourself to play that two deep shell coverage. Hankins, who of course comes from the Las Vegas Raiders, was drafted by the Giants in the second round way back in 2013 out of Ohio State. He had the, the, the big Hank nickname. He re-signed with the Raiders in April of this year, kind of late in that free agency process. He's kind of bounced around in recent years, but he has been most successful with the Colts and Raiders, I would argue. Giants kind of flashed a little bit late in his career. Had one big outlier a year from a sack and TFL perspective. He's not someone who is going to, nor who you are asking to, generate big stat production. And that's fine. That's not his role or his job. His job and role is to stop those runs and clog the lanes, take up a blocker or two ideally, and let your linebackers or your safeties, if you're playing the, the big nickel package, make the plays. The Cowboys now going to have extra, extra depth along that defensive line, especially amid the Terrell Basham trade rumors out there, which we've discussed before. Osa and Bohanna, I will continue to label as your starters at the three technique and the one technique spot. Last week, the Cowboys rotated Tristan Hill and Carlos Watkins fairly heavily. Uh, there could be a surprise injury that we don't know about at this point. I have not heard anything of that coming out of the game. But I do know that Neville Gallimore was a scratch last week. Now, Gallimore is in a very interesting spot at this point. Because I've heard some negative things about uh, his off-season work ethic and whatnot. And that's a big reason why he was playing deep into the preseason. He hasn't been that impactful yet, which is a bit of a disappointment because I love him at Oklahoma. I was happy about that move. I'm curious what happens to Gallimore now. Because you're not going to have six DTs active on game day. It's going to be at most five. And you just traded for Jonathan Hankins to make him active on game days. Maybe not necessarily this week against the Bears, but possible. But... We'll see what happens in practice week if you get playbook fast enough. But I'm curious what happens to Gallimore now. The wrist is allegedly an issue too. We'll know more throughout the week. If he if he doesn't practice Wednesday with the wrist, maybe he is banged up. We'll wait and see on Gallimore. But the Cowboys have some issues up front. At least they thought they wanted to fix with Hankins. Hopefully him on the interior makes life easier for your linebackers and your defensive ends. The ends have not been great at setting the edges, but by adding some more meat up front... I think it'll make life easier on them as you play some very good run offenses down the stretch of this season. 
Folks, this is exactly why you subscribe. When news happens, we cover it. Sometimes we go live as well. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for free Cowboys YouTube videos all day, every day, right here at the Cowboys Report. Let's hit some Hankin stats here. Shout out to my boy Mitchell Renz for the Raiders Report for making all these because, you know, Raiders. Uh, hasn't played a lot this year, 120 snaps so far. The run grades are not elite from that perspective. Obviously, I meant run defense, not uh, done defense, but I was going quick, so eh, my bad. Career-wise for Hankins, not a lot of impact. This is not a, a tackle for loss machine, a sack machine, but that's also not what he's really ever been asked to be. I would argue that as of late, Hankins' career has been not as, but that's okay. He's getting up there in age. You traded him for cheap, so you, you know the expectations going in. His job, as I've said before, is to stop the run, absorb those blocks, clog the lanes. He's not going to be a, a really clear like gap penetrator who's getting in the backfield, making a bunch of TFLs in the same way Tank Lawrence or Micah Parsons is. This is someone whose job, job is to, hey, the garden center are blocking me. Now my linebacker's free to go make the tackle. That's what you're asking for from Hankins. And at his size, he can do that, I promise you. The numbers last four years have begun to, to decline. That's, again, expected as these defensive linemen continue to age. He is 30 years old right now, but he does bring you fantastic size at 320-plus pounds. I like the move to add Hankins. It gives you depth at the defensive tackle spot, and it makes the fatties only uh, propaganda machine in me happy. So grade this trade. A, B, C, D, or F. I have a very tough time going anything less than a B. It's cheap. It's a veteran depth. And they did something, which we all wanted them to do. They at least are trying to boost their roster a little bit more, despite what Jerry Jones said recently publicly. So grade the Hankins trade. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comment section. Today's show is also made possible by BetUS. They're our sportsbook partner. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS125 gets you a 125% deposit bonus. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS125. Bet on the Cowboys to beat the Bears. Beat. They're coming off the win. I actually feel better about that than a pissed off and desperate Bears team a little bit. They look much better on offense. Dallas should win that game and a lot of their games down the stretch. Some final thoughts for myself here on Hankins. I'm, I'm pleased with it. I know a lot of you wanted the big, sexy, splashy trade. I get that. I understand it. I do. Um, I would argue if maybe linebacker is a bigger need because I've been unimpressed by Anthony Barr. But I'm never going to be mad about a team adding more pieces. We've wanted them to be more aggressive because they were not aggressive in the offseason. And they did something. Now, the big splash trade... I'm still unconvinced we'll actually end up going down, but hey, I wasn't going to do any trades, and they did one already, so I wouldn't mind seeing another trade from that standpoint. So I'm happy they made a trade. I would like to get more. I'm also not going to get my hopes up too much on that standpoint. My final request on this vid, type fatties only in the comment section. It's a positive thing, and I'm very pleased that Hank is a member now of the Dallas Cowboys.